and your life. Hello, everyone. This is Razor Flame Kun, and with me, I have my good friend and commentator for this run. Hey guys, how's it going? It's FR Pro Twenty One. And today I'm going to be doing Tetris Attack versus Computer very hard. Uh, in order to unlock very hard, you have to press L, up, and A at the same time while you're over hard. And it's much harder than hard, and we'll, uh, FFR will get into that. Uh, so I'm not going to be talking during the run, so I'll let FFR Pro take over when I, at, right after the countdown. So. We're going to go ahead and start in three, two, one, go. All right, so here we go. This is a uh, very hard difficulty. Um, so, yes, it, it does look like it only says hard, but um, trust me, he's playing on very hard. Uh, the way you can tell is that uh, if the background is red and not pink, uh, that's the only way you can tell you're on very hard instead of hard. And a nice start! So, yes. Um, so, yes, there are 12 stages. Uh, goal of each stage is to send enough garbage to your opponents to fill their, their stack up all the way to the top and beat them. Uh, the way you can do this is by making a bunch of chains and combos. You can either make uh, combos of four or more blocks, or by making uh, by making chains of consecutive matches. So, uh, starting off, uh, this AI is uh, not too quick. very hard to do. Uh, they will get a little bit faster as we uh, progress through. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, as you can see, uh, this AI, you know, because, you know, this is a Super Nintendo game, it's not very good. Uh, for the first eight stages, you will see that they will uh, mainly go for combos. So you can see right at the beginning, uh, AI will always uh, down stack, you know, flatten out the stack, and then and as soon as they do that, then they will start going mainly for combo. So you can see, you can see just five combo there, and there we go. We got a good doggy. So yes, for the first eight stages, the AI will go mostly for combos. Um, there are 12 stages in total, so that means, uh, you know, we will be seeing, we will eventually see Bowser. Ooh, pretty nice second chain from uh, Raze there. Ooh! Ooh, forgot to... Oh, this could still work. Oh, I was close, but you got there. So yes, well, uh, one thing you have to remember is that um, uh, as it, even though you have to go really, really fast, uh, you do have to exercise a little bit of patience, because uh, as you saw there, uh, when Razor finished off one chain, and started the next one. Uh, all of his garbage actually did not fall from the first chain. Um, that's just uh, that's just a little little thing that you know every puzzle game kind of has. Uh, it is mostly the the uh, caramel garbage that actually doesn't fall. Falls a little bit later, but the big chain garbage will. Uh, Will usually fall when the uh, chain is over. <laughs> so yes, um, if you are familiar with the uh, the Japanese version of the game that's called Pound the Pond, um, Japanese version has uh, mostly has uh, mostly fairies in it, uh, and the storyline is basically you know. 
Uh, Cordelia, you know, puts a uh, lip on a test to see if she is strong enough to be uh, queen of Fairyland. Uh, here, the storyline is, um, you know, Bowser casts a spell on Yoshi's Island, you know, turns all of his friends evil. They get, uh, you know, make all your friends good again, go to the cave, defeat Bowser, and, you know, you know, classic Mario stuff, basically. Alright, so coming up here, yeah, here we are, stage 7. So you can see now, the AI is getting a little bit faster. Oh, Razor, oh, Razor almost had him. So you need a couple more lines of garbage. So yeah, you can see there. Uh, usually, when gar when garbage falls, it'll actually, it'll shake the screen a little bit. Um. Uh, obviously, if you send a bunch of caramel garbage, it's uh, not gonna shake the screen uh, so much. Whereas if you send like a you know a big chain like a like a seven chain or eight chain when when it drops, it's gonna shake the screen a lot. And that actually kind of contributes to a little something called stop time. So of course, uh, stop time is you know this invisible timer, which uh, you know is in the game, right? And uh, you know it counts down uh, when your stack is uh, you know at the top of the screen. And once it counts down all the way down to zero, then, you know, you game over and you lose. Um, however, the stop timer, uh, timer does not count down when the screen is shaking. So that's why you kind of want to limit your chains to smaller chains like uh, four or five. And also send a uh, bunch of uh, combos with it. You know, not to fill their, the, to fill their stack up faster, but to also make sure the screen doesn't shake so much. <laughs> okay, so here we are, stage 9, so we have officially entered the Cave of Wickedness. So, the AI behavior at the beginning is um, actually the same, so they will, of course, raise the stack, they'll flatten their stack. But they will actually now start going for chains. And the difference between uh, this game and its Japanese version pounds upon uh, is that in this in this version, this version's a um how should I wear this? The Japanese version's AI will never go for chains. They will only ever go for combos. <laughs> Whereas the AI in this game, in the later stages, will actually go for chains. Now, you would probably think that, you know, because this AI goes for chains mostly, that, um, in a way, this AI is, in theory, a little bit harder to beat, but, um, it actually isn't uh, really that much harder. In fact, um, you know, because because the layer AI actually raises the stack, um, there's actually more of a possibility that you know you could send uh, just a few lines of garbage, catch them off guard, and, you know, potentially win in about uh, nine or ten seconds. Oh, sorry about that. Um, of course, I see here, this is kind of far from, you know, a 10 second fight. 
But it's okay. We're pa we're past Naval Piranha, and we only got two stages left. So here we are with the Hocus Pocus Master himself, Kimek. Uh, he is uh he's very fast, but he also raises usually raises the stack a little bit higher. There we go. Yeah, that's how high the stack. KMX sometimes likes to likes to raise it up too. Ooh, KMX, yeah, yeah. I saw that green clear coming. <laughs> so yeah, you can see all that screen shake here. Essentially, the extra screen shake in this game uh, can, can, can actually be used to a player's advantage as, like, extra stop time. So, if you get, like, two players that are, like, really, really good at the game, um, you can even make um, first matches on, you know, the highest level, level 10, uh, basically go on for what feels like forever. Uh, here we are! We are alright, the last stage, Bowser! So, time will be, uh, the very moment Bowser is, uh, defeated. Which is, uh, basically when his curse disappears. Oh, we almost had him there. Oh, oh, actually, Razor might get him here. This is a very bad stack from Bowser. Yeah. There it is, and that is time! So, there we go. That is GG's to Razor Flame. GG. I am just waiting on Razor to join back. Hey, so what was that? Eleven nineteen. Wow, very nice. Uh, according to my split, eleven sixteen, but I started my split a bit late. Uh, so yeah, eleven nineteen. Yeah, that's uh, two minute thirty four second PB. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that is that's that's a big one. Uh, um, and considering I didn't even practice this game. Before this run, I, I didn't practice it at all. I, I did uh, Panel de Pawn, which is actually a bit harder than this, but that's um, other than uh, Piranha Plants, which was very slow, I uh, lost about 50 seconds to that fight. All the other fights were just insane. So, um, yeah, that's ridiculous. Anyways, um, I was not expecting it to be that short. Uh, estimate for this was 20 minutes, and now um, the reason why we give such long estimates is because of the inconsistency of and RNG of these games. Like one of these runs can t easily take 25 minutes, or it could take 10 minutes, like you just saw. Anyways, I just wanted to thank FFR Pro for doing com uh, commentary, uh, however short the run was. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in learning this game, um, Feel free to stop by Puzzle General. Uh, I think it's uh, this. I think that's it. Uh, a, a, is that it? Uh, I think that works. No, that does not work. OK, thanks, F. Uh, thanks, Storage. Anyways, um, yeah. Oh, there uh, we any go. Any of us will be able to um, help you with that. So um, also, um, if you're interested uh, in watching more runs like this, uh, feel free to come over there. Uh, add a c I can't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs>
That was really good. Yeah. Uh, the second link, not the first one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you're if and um, if if you want to see some more stuff by um, FFR Pro, I believe it's uh, just FFR Pro twenty one, right? Yeah. So if you want to see his stuff by him, you can. No, you him typed there. it wrong. You I did. One <laughs> Oh, boy. F, F for yes. typing the wrong link. <laughs> F in the chat. There. Yeah, so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for letting me run this, guys. And looks like uh, I'm going to need this. Uh, I did not have this local record, so I'm going to need this highlighted at some point so I can submit it. Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you guys later. See you guys.